find the quadratic equation using x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2. Our given we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals to positive 9 and x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals to positive 2. One of the form of writing a quadratic equation is of the form x squared plus b over a multiplied by x plus c over a equals to 0. And we know that negative b over a, this is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And we also know that c all over a, this is equal to x sub 1 times x sub 2. Okay, so we, th we will then substitute the values of negative b over a and c over a. So our equation now will become x squared. Now instead of b over a, we are going to substitute negative or rather x sub 1 plus x sub 2. But take note, since this is negative, so we will also have here the negative sign. And then we will have the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And multiply this by the variable x. Plus, instead of c over a here, we are going to substitute x sub 1 times x sub 2. So this will be plus the quantity of x sub 1 times x sub 2. This will be equal to 0. And then we are going to substitute now the values. So our quadratic equation will become x squared minus instead of the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2, we are now going to substitute positive 9. So minus 9. And then this will be plus instead of x sub 1 times x sub 2, we are now going to use positive 2. So this will be plus 2 equals to 0. And let us not forget here the variable x. So therefore, x squared minus 9x plus 2 equals to 0. This is now our final answer. Find the quadratic equation using x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2. Our given we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. This is equal to 1 over 4. And x sub 1 times x sub 2. This is equal to 2 over 3. One of the form of writing a quadratic equation is of the form x squared plus b over a multiplied by x plus c all over a equals to 0. And we know that negative b over a, so we have here negative b all over a, this is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and that c over a is equal to x sub 1 times x sub 2. So substituting this values to our equation, our equation will become x squared. Okay. Now instead of b over a, we are going to use negative b over a. So this will be negative. Instead of b over a again, we are going to use x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So this will be the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And multiply this by the variable x plus instead of c all over a, we are going to use x sub 1 times x sub 2. So the quantity of x sub 1 times x sub 2 equals to 0. 
we can now substitute the values of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 that is 1 over 4 and the value of x sub 1 times x over 2 which is 2 over 3 so again substituting the values we will have x squared minus so the value of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 that is 1 over 4 so this will be minus 1 over 4 multiplied by x and then plus the value of x sub 1 times x sub 2 is 2 over 3 so this will be 2 over 3 equals to 0 we need to cancel out the de denominators so that there will be no fractions on our equations so we will just multiply both sides of the equation by the product of 4 and 3 so 4 multiplied by 3 is 12 so we, we, we will have here 12 times x squared that is 12x squared 12 times negative 1 over 4 x so we will have here 12 divided by 4 is 3 and 3 multiplied by 1 this is minus 3 x 12 times 2 over 3 so we will have here 12 times 2 over 3 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 multiplied by 2 that is positive 8 and then we will have 12 multiplied by 0 so this will be equal to 0 so therefore 12x squared minus 3x plus 8 equals to 0 is our final answer find the quadratic equation using x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2 our next given we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2 this is equal to 2 over 7 and x sub 1 times x sub 2 this is equal to 1 over 8 so one of the form of a of quadratic equation is of the form x squared plus b all over a multiplied by x plus c all over a equals to zero we know that negative negative b over a this is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and we have c over a that is equal to x sub 1 times x sub 2 and then substitute this to our equation so our equation now will be x squared okay now since this is negative this will also be negative and instead of b over a we are going to use x sub 1 plus x sub 2 so minus the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus instead of c all over a we are going to use x sub 1 times x sub 2 so this will be the quantity of x sub 1 times x sub 2 this is equal to 0 okay we are now going to substitute the values so we have here x squared minus instead of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 we are going to substitute the value of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and that is 2 all over 7 okay again we forgot here the value of x so we will have here x so negative 2 over 7 multiply this by x plus instead of x sub 1 times x sub 2 we are going to substitute 1 over 8 so plus 1 over 8 equals to 0 now we need to remove the denominators which is 7 and 8 so what we need to do is that we will multiply both sides of the equation 
by the product of 7 and 8. So the product of 7 and 8 is 56. So 56 multiplied by x squared, that is 56 x squared. 56 multiplied by negative 2 over 7x, this will be minus 56 divided by 7 is 8. And 8 multiplied by 2, that is 16. So this will be minus 16x. And then 56 multiplied by 1 over 8. 56 divided by 8 is 7. 7 multiplied by 1, that is 7. So this will be plus 7. And 56 multiplied by 0, this will be equal to 0. So therefore, 56x squared minus 16x plus 7 equals to 0 is our final answer. Find the quadratic equation using x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2. Our given, we have here, Okay, let's erase that first. Our given is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 equals to 3 over 4 and x sub 1 times x sub 2. This is equal to 1 over 5. One of the form of writing quadratic equation is of the form x squared plus b over a multiplied by x plus c over a equals to 0. We know that negative b over a, so negative b over a, this is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2, and c over a, this is also equal to x sub 1 times x sub 2. We can substitute the values of negative b over a and c over a to our equation. So substituting this will result to x squared. Okay. So since this is negative b over a, so we will have here negative. And then instead of b over a, we are going to substitute x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So this will be minus the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2. And then we have here plus, oh, the net, okay, let's not forget the variable x here. So plus, instead of c over a, we are going to substitute the quantity of x sub 1 times x sub 2. So this will be plus x sub 1 times x sub 2, this will be equal to 0. We can then substitute the values. So substituting the values, we will have here x squared. So minus, instead of the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2, we are going now to substitute 3 over 4. So minus 3 over 4 multiplied by the variable x, so minus 3 over 4x, plus, instead of the quantity x sub 1 times x sub 2, we are now going to substitute the value 1 over 5 equals to 0. Now, to get the final quadratic equation, we need to remove the denominators. So to remove the denominators, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the product of 4 and 5. So 4 multiplied by 5, that is equal to 20. Okay. So 20 multiplied by x squared, that is 20 x squared. 20 multiplied by negative 3 over 4 x. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. So this will be minus 15x. And then 20 multiplied by 1 over 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. And 4 multiplied by 1, 
that is positive 4. And lastly, we have 20 multiplied by 0. This is equal to 0. So therefore, 20x squared minus 15x plus 4 equal to 0 is our final answer. Finding the quadratic equation using x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and x sub 1 times x sub 2. Our next given we have x sub 1 plus x sub 2. This is equal to 2 all over 9. And x sub 1 times x sub 2. This is equal to 2 over 5. One of the form of writing a quadratic equation is of the form x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals to 0. And we know that negative b over a, so negative b over a, this is equal to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and c over a this is equal to x sub 1 times x sub 2 okay so we are now going to substitute the values of negative b over a and c over a to our equation so substituting we will have x squared and instead of b over a here we are going to substitute x sub 1 plus x sub 2 but since this is negative, so we will have here negative. And then we will have the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 multiplied by the variable x. So we will have here x plus instead of c over a, we are going to substitute the values or we are going to substitute the quantity x sub 1 times x sub 2 and this is equal to 0. We can then substitute now the values. So substituting we will have x sub 2 minus instead of the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 we are going to put 2 over 9. 2 over 9. So this will be 2 over 9 multiplied by x plus Instead of x sub 1 times x sub 2, we are going to substitute 2 over 4, so or 2 over 5 equals to 0. We need to remove the denominators, which, is, which are 9 and 5, so that there will be no fraction for our quadratic equation. So to remove them, just multiply both sides of the equation by the product of 9 and 5. And the product of 9 and 5 is 45. So 45 multiplied by x squared, this will be 45x squared. And 45 multiplied by negative 2 over 9 times x. 45 divided by 9, this will be equal to 5. And 5 times 2 is 10. So we will have here minus 10x. 45 multiplied by 2 over 5, 45 divided by 5 is 9. 9 times 2, that is 18. So plus 18. And then 45 multiplied by 0, this will be equal to 0. So therefore, 45x squared minus 10x plus 18 equals to 0. This is our final answer.